they let me keep my beard. And they said some pharma guys actually have a beard like this. <sighs> Want to run lines? Yeah, all right. What I did was terrible, and I'm truly sorry. I accept your apology. That was great. Oh, man. This trailer is nice. I might go over to the Wheel of Fortune building, take some pictures. Did she suffer? But she figured out that it was you she was looking for. And I invited you to my cabin. Who was that guy that took me into the woods? He's nobody. Actually, you know what, that's not true. I want to be honest with you because I think we have a good thing going here. Um, he's a family friend. He's actually kind of like a... An uncle. He got you into this line of work. So that monologue that you gave me when I first met you, that was fucking true. And then I said it again at the dinner table. And she knew it was you. Hey, we don't need to rehash all this. If I didn't say anything, she'd be alive today. Oh, no, don't put that on yourself, Mr. Cousineau. No, she was good at her job. The whole thing's just really unfortunate, you know? Look, I believe, and, and some of this I got from your teachings, that, that, that you can be the version of yourself that you want to be. I never said that to you. What I'm saying is, is that I never would have learned that if it wasn't for you. So I'm responsible for who you are? The positive side, yeah. I mean, meeting you changed my life for the better, you know? <sighs> Look, we've both done terrible things in our lives, but we're helping each other make up for it, you know? I mean, you got a line. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>